So I'll just kind of review the, the parts of the chair here. Is that what's in our manual? Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah, there are parts in the, in the Yeah. We have that. We're, we're done with Twitter ready for now? No, no I'm going to go oh. back. Oh. I'm going back to it. I'm sorry. <laughs> These are the hand grips here, obviously. The handles are known as the hand grips. Then you have the back. Um, this is the back. And, and on many of these, I don't know if you can see it or not, but they have screws here. It's like mm -hmm. Phillips screw, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. So you can, change all, you can change the backs of these out. So if you have someone who... You have this really petite little lady who is very kyphotic. You could take this off and put on a nice, um, a nice cushion for her back that's kind of like rounded, so it'll fit her a little bit better and give her a little bit better support when she's sitting in the chair. Mm -hmm. So these um, can can come off, like I said. Um, normally. Um, they can be what we call a sling back, where it's nice and soft and movable, or you can get it like a hard, um, hard surface. I don't know what they put the solid. 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 Okay, solid. So the solid would be more like what I was describing with the older lady, with the little, um, it's like cut out and round. There's one called a J, um, it's not a cushion, a J back, a J back. Um, very nicely. Then, then there's different tires on a, a wheelchair. Some of them have air. Most of them don't nowadays. Um, but there's different tires. You have spokes on them. Most of them, what I see, are plastic. You have the, um, the silver ring that goes around it. It's called the hand rim. That's how they propel. That's how you want to teach the person to propel themselves. You don't want them to hold on to the tire. Um, then you have the brake. And when you, um, some of them push, um, push, pull back, I should say, to lock, and others push forward to lock. So many of them are different. The, the one chair that's back there that has the head, the tilt and space one, that just has one little knob that you press on it, and it locks both. And it locks both sides. It locks both sides. That's sweet. It's bifurcated, <laughs> what we call bifurcated. Yeah, Yes. Then you have, uh, some wheelchairs have these. These are called extenders. They come in different lengths too. Um, and it's to help lock the brakes. Um, there could be a couple reasons. Uh, weakness could be one reason why they can't lock the brake. They may not be able to grasp a hold of it. They can just use their palm um, to, to close it. If I am, um, if I have hemiparesis, um, I don't have any function in my right arm, I can just reach here across my body and close it and, and op open the brake, right? Um, I want you all to practice and look, and look at these parts. Um, that's gonna be part of the, the lab kind of thing. Just caster wheels, we all learned about those on the lab, right? You we'll always want to make sure that when you get ready to move a patient that the short end of the caster wheel is in front because it gives you clearance, better clearance. Um, armrests can be different too. Um, sometimes you, this one is a flip back one. So it has like this little black uh, knob thing that you could just kind of turn and it releases the nipple part out of the frame and it just folds, folds backwards. Others have um, the little nipple thing. What do you call those? <laughs> lever? We'll probably remember if you keep saying nipple. Do you know what I mean? Lever? Yeah. Or? Yeah. Stick, stick, 
Take a, take, 